okay you say can you talk about spiritual soul ties when you make love to someone well uh when you make love to some that's a desire so that's something you desire that ain't had nothing to do with uh spiritual soul tie so you don't want to mix that you don't want to blind yourself up and think that you made love to someone and now you got a spiritual soul tie because then you'll confuse yourself into thinking a relationship meant more something than what it was when really when we when we say we making love, that's just when we, something we desire because we tired of fucking. And then you say, uh, so we just want somebody that we want to really connect with. And sometimes we'll reach a space where we'll just do that with anyone. And then you said, that, uh, that's why I'm not into uh, casual sex. I'll be connected for a long time after uh, a breakup. Now, you did create a, 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 a title, you know what I'm saying? Now, But we don't want to say that it got to do with the love, you know what I'm saying? And the love thing, that's something different. Love is something we desire. We desire love. We all desire love. We all want to be loved by someone in some way, shape, or form. So that's what makes that a desire. Now, when you hear me speak about it like that, I'm not saying that's wrong or bad. I mean, or that's good or bad. You know what I'm saying? That's something that just humans do. It spark, it spark the psyche and the human being and the human just gravitate towards it. But for the most part, since it is a desire, I know people listen to the, these words and they think off the back that means bad or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? No, we all want what we desire or you wouldn't even have this body in some way, shape or form. It's just on a percentage level how we go about that and things of that nature. Now, we create soul ties, period, though. You know what I'm saying? Even when we ain't having sex and things of that nature. So that is good that you don't have casual sex and things of that nature. And I, yeah, you a Pisces, right? Yeah. So by you even being a Pisces and shit like that, yeah, that, that shit is the connection to go too fast, too, I mean, too long and things of that nature. So we got to be careful who we having sex with because who we open ourselves up with. And like, like I said, it's beyond physical. This could be mentally and emotionally. It could be somebody in our lives that we share our dreams with. That before we knew that we that we were supposed to share our dreams with this person or not, we just did it because it felt good at the moment. It was a it was a desire, like it felt good. And this this person might be in that picture for like a week or a month or whatever like that. Then after a while, we start creating a tie. Now, when this person start to show their ass, aka unsupportive of your dream, aka start to act like they got different dreams, aka start to make you feel like they're looking down on your dreams in some way, shape, or form, based upon the tie that you have fucking that person, aka not even physical. Just all those times that y'all shared when it was a connection, when it was that six, right? It's even if you're really not like, that person ain't even got to be your family or nothing like that, right? You still going to feel some type of way. Especially if you are Pisces. You're going to feel a way. You're going to be like, damn, it was just like all good just a week ago. And this, that, and the third. So, when it comes down to sex, sex is our lower chakras and our motherfucking organs and shit like that. That we have created with those chakras that we willed ourselves into this existence with. AKA, you get born through your lower chakras and you die through your higher chakras. You get born through your right brain chakras and you die through your left brain chakras. So anytime we're doing something that's close to our true natures and we're connected with another individual like that, AKA having casual sex with our true natures in some way, shape or form, the soul tie can happen very fast, very rapid and shit like that. And if we out here having casual sex, we're out here getting tied up in a whole bunch of shit that we don't need to be tied up in. And therefore, we end up manifesting these same kind of situations in our lives in some magnitude. So we got to be careful of that also. A.K.A. Like like you, uh, like Boogie Oogie said, let me go back to that. You said um, you get connected for a long time. You might get just that connection energy. It might be this person connected to something else. They might be connected to a food or some shit like that. And then that connection energy itself, you get picked up by it. And then it gets filtered through in your eyes as it being this person. And in this person, this eyes, it might be a video game or some shit. Like, like it's it's crazy how the, the trickle game works. That's why yeah, we got to be careful not to have no casual sex in this motherfucker. Real shit.